This is the Sanderson WDE 2 1300mm wide wide belt sander. Uh, we also have an 1100 and a 900 wide belt sander. Um, the 1100 comes with a two belt and the 1300 also comes in a two belt, whereas the 900 is available in a single belt or twin belt configuration. Uh, but this video is mainly going to be on the 1300. So... Uh, these are industrial wire belt sanders. 1300 is actually powered. Each sanding belt has a 25 horsepower motor powering that sanding belt. So two motors in this one. Um, 15 horsepower motors, uh, 20 horsepower motors in this one, I apologize. And then 15 horsepower motors in the 900. So 1300 with the 25 horsepower, uh, it's not messing about. There's not really anything that this isn't going to be able to deal with. So... Uh, they've got some very nice features on this. Got an electrical rise and fall of the thicknessing table. And that's the same with uh, all the other wire belt sanders. Every, fe every feature that we go through on this machine is also on the 900 and the 1100. So electrical rise and fall. Also got a fine adjustment, which is really nice. You can press that once and that'll go down by 0 0.1 of a millimeter and exactly the same uh, for going up. So if we get a workpiece, what we can do is we can pop this on the table. Right here, we have a sensor. And if we raise the table so the sensor makes contact with the workpiece, we will have our thickness. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to raise the table up. Seventeen point one. Just test how accurate that is. Uh, test how accurate that is. Right now for you, seventeen point one was the reading on the scale. Uh, I'm having a little difficulty here. Seventeen on that, so seventeen point one, not too far off. Uh, what we would do with that then, because it came out at seventeen point one and it's quite accurate, is I will put some markings on this board. I will also then electrically set the table, uh, which I can't do yet because we've got a red light on, and the reason for that is because. We didn't have the air supply on. Now I've got a white light inside the machine, which means we're good to set the table to 16.9, press OK, and that will then move to the correct size, 16.9, perfect. I'll just pop some markings on the board. Okay, and essentially we're good to run this through. Now, safety operation, on this machine if we press this here the machine will fall uh, the table will fall and the sanding belts will stop as well same with here so i'll just show you that now because the table is set if for whatever reason someone managed to put this through at the wrong size uh, we can quickly press here the table will fall the sanding belts would stop if it was operating and then you need to set this table again for that to uh, to work so if i press that again it's not going to come down, so it needs to be set again. 16.9. Okay, that's going to electrically rise, and then we're good to operate. So what we've got on the control panel here is your first sanding belt, your second sanding belt, electrical rise fall of the table, and your variable feed speed with the start and stop for the conveyor belt as well. So we'll start the first sanding belt. The sanding belt here, second sanding belt there course start that one of course you'll need an atex rated extractor for this we've got the alpha rimini uh, which is more than enough to handle this uh, the fine dust that comes off your wide belt sander so we'll start that up now start the conveyor belt it's on, it's on a very low feed speed at the minute it can go all the way over so we're uh, going to Pushing it through quite slowly. Uh, 
and then you've got the plexiglass window you can see everything that's going on you can see the machine feeding it through you can see the rollers passing it through and seeing it come out the other side as well you've got the oscillation trackers here uh, which you'll see moving around you've also got the air jet system and that is blowing the sanding belts down there's two of those and they're blowing the sanding belts down as you're operating okay So still got a bit of marking on there. We can go down by 0.1. And I'm actually going to go down again uh, by 0.1, so 0.2 in total. Uh, so that's a bit of a mess Feed that through again. So you've got your manual adjustment here and there for the height of both the rollers. You've got a your tensioner which is powered by your air, which I'll show you in a moment, your air jet cleaners and your oscillation trackers. It's all actually relatively simple.